My first guest tonight is an Academy Award-winning actress and dedicated activist who founded the climate change movement Fire Drill Fridays. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Jane Fonda. Happy, um, Thank you. Happy 2020, Jane Fonda. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again. H how have you been? Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Remember when I kissed you? I do remember <laughs> that. I do remember. My wife remembers that, too. She still, she still doesn't think it's funny. He, uh, he used to be the scariest person to be interviewed because, you know, he had this alter ego character that was so... And I want... There was something really important that I wanted to talk about on the show. And so I just figured, well, I'd just go out and sit in his lap and kiss him. And I did. You and stuck... It, and you it stuck was, your tongue in I my ear. I did. I did. You did. You did. And you, you were did. so flustered that it was an easy interview because you <laughs> really <laughs> was. It really was. Yeah. yeah, it was like I was like Johnny Carson with a spider monkey on his head. I didn't want to move. <laughs> and it was an honor. Thank you very much. Anytime, an by the way. I. <laughs> 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 I, I want to talk to you about a, a, a subject near and dear to your heart, and it should be near and dear to all of our hearts. It should. You've started these fire drill Fridays uh, uh, about climate change. Tell me what your objective is here. Well, humankind is facing the greatest crisis that we've ever faced, and there were all these young students that were sacrificing a lot and working so hard. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I'm interested. I'm leaning okay. in because I'm interested. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I've spent a lot of time now with these young students, and they're scared. Mm -hmm. and, and, they're, and a lot of young people are even suffering from, they're calling it extinction illness. And I just felt I wasn't doing enough. And the scientists were saying we have 10 years, and before it's going to go so far over the cliff that there's no turning back. We'll just... The, the environment and climate will unravel, and there's nothing we can do. And so I said, okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm famous. I have a platform. I'm going to move to D.C. I'm going to put my body on the line, and I'm going to do these things. And in the process, I'm going to learn a lot, too. And the young people have been with me all the way. And it's incredible what's happened. Well, it's what? really... It's really... People are coming... Uh... How's it going? Every Friday, I thought it would kind of peter off. Every Friday, there's more and more people, and they come from all over. And most of them have never engaged in civil disobedience before and risk getting arrested. How many times have you been arrested so far? I think five. Mm -hmm. and... is, there a point at, is there a point at which they give you a free sub or something? When do... <laughs> what happens? Are, are, the, are the police down there... Are they, are they fed up with you leading these protests? They actually, you know, look, I'm white. <laughs> and I'm famous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and so, you know, what happens to me is different than what would happen if I was a person of color mm -hmm. and I wasn't famous. And what are you holding there? These are some pictures of the protest. Yeah. This is, this is you and some of your fellow protesters, including Ms. Gloria Steinem right there. So, I, you know, I... Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let me... Here's, here's, here's a, a cool story. So, on my 82nd birthday, I think 143 people came to get arrested, including Gloria and Dolores Huerta and Reverend Barber and all kinds of amazing people, I, Jen Poo. And so, we're all being held in the detention in handcuffs, and this, this black police officer, a woman, she came over to Gloria, because, you know, they're all required to carry a copy of the Constitution in their pocket, and she said... I'm probably going to get fired for this, but will you sign my constitution? <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and so there was... 
There was Gloria. There was Gloria in handcuffs signing the Constitution. That's great. Now, you got our friend Sam Waterston in trouble, too. Sam Waterston was arrested at one of these. Sam is a self described moderate, mm -hmm. but he understood, he understands that these are times that require that we go beyond our comfort zones. And so he did with me, he got arrested. Two weeks later, he sends a picture to me of himself in handcuffs in, during the halftime at the Harvard-Yale game where the students were protesting the fact that the universities are invested in fossil fuel. He got arrested again. He said, look what happened. Look what you started. <laughs> and then... You're a bad influence. Last Friday, he you're came a, back. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> but over, over, over the four months, so many people have been deeply affected by, by this and they don't want it to end and they want to know if they can start it in their own towns or cities and so Greenpeace is going to take it and we're going to move it across the country um, and, and if you're interested, <laughs> if you're interested, um, text Jane to 877-877 and Greenpeace will get back to you and help, and, and, and we will help you because the we'll only thing that will make this work is for the American people to be empowered, all of you. We want to help you do this. Here's a shot. Here's a shot of you, you getting arrested. Now, for um, any advice for beginners on, on, but seriously, like yeah. if you're going to be detained, um, obviously not being arrested for a violent crime or anything like that. Um, what do I, do I need to bring simple things? Like, should I bring like a power bar or like something like <laughs> no, that? No, you can't or? bring anything like that. Everything gets taken away. So you, you wear layers of clothes if it's winter and you may spend the night in jail. You want a lot of layers okay. so you can use them for pillows and things. Mm -hmm. Other than that, um, all you need is a photo ID that's up to date and $50. And if you don't have 50, we give it to you. And um, and then, you know, we don't we don't do civil disobedience as a first effort, but we've been petitioning and writing and marching and begging the government, and they don't hear. We've used every lever of democracy, and so we have to take a step further. And that's that's why we're engaging in in civil disobedience and risking getting arrested. And there's something that's very it changes you. I think it's, you're putting your, you're aligning your body, your whole self with your values and you feel very integrated and empowered. It's beautiful. It's, it's what uh, our friend John Lewis calls good trouble. It's definitely good, good trouble. trouble. It's good trouble, yeah. Um, now there's a last fire drill Friday is, is, is uh, in Washington this Friday, correct? Yeah. Okay. Joaquin Phoenix reached out and he's coming. And Maggie Gyllenhaal and, and Martin Sheehan, he's been arrested 70 times. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. He, he is a walking mm -hmm. example yes. of good trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of uh, all your famous friends, uh, congratulations. I, I know that we were in the season six of Grace and Frankie, right? Yeah. On uh, Netflix. <laughs> and you're very soon. It's very soon going to be the longest running show on Netflix. Yeah. It's the gun smoke of Netflix at this point. <laughs> Is yeah. there going to be a season seven? Do we know? Yeah, we start the 27th of January. We start filming it, and it's going to be longer than the, it'll be 16 episodes. We look, for, we look forward to that. Say hi to Lily. It was lovely to see you. Thank you so much for being oh, here, so Jane. Thank see you for you. what I'm you're doing. I'm impressed with your running. <laughs> Jane Fonda, everybody.